Alrighty boys, welcome back to the video and today let's talk about some trade routes, uh, kind of like starter guide, also kind of like just to help you give you the right idea of like what kind of uh, stuff to trade in terms of, you know, cross map trading, which will provide very high results and also kind of, um, you know, region to region trading from like this region to maybe like this region or this region, you know what I mean? And uh, I'm going to give you a couple examples of exactly what sells and um little tips and tricks in between okay this is in no way a, a ultimate guide to trading this this and that um this is just a way to give you a start okay so um let's talk about first uh long like long form trading right so what sells in different parts of the map so i'm just going to list it off for you i'm going to have the map right over here okay rule of thumb Pretty much the rule of thumb when it comes to long um, long scale trading from like one side of the map to the other, you want to see what the villages are producing on one side and what they're not producing on the other side, okay? And that will give you a very good indication if something is profitable. Because if it's producing on this side, like if it has a lot of villages producing, um, you know, a certain thing on this side, and then has no villages producing on this side. Well, guess what? They still need that item on this side. So you, you know, you can get it from this side, buy it up for here for cheap, since they have so much of it, pretty much supply and demand, and then bring it over here where they don't have so much of it and sell it for higher because they are in need of it. In Bannerlord, there's a system whenever you go to uh, any markets, any village of, of you know, the more of an item they have, the, the the pretty much the price will go down, right? And the less of an item they have, the price will go up. It's very simple. Supply and demand. If you have a lot of supply, then, you know, you don't have as much demand. Or, you know, well, no, you, if you have a lot of supply, the price will get lower to match the demand. And if you have a lot of demand, the price will get higher to match the supply. Boom. Best way to say it right there. Okay. Now, uh, if we look really quickly for the Kazates as like a beginning, Kazates have a lot of horse farms. Well, I guess the horse farms is the right, yeah, horse farms is the right way to put it, or horse producing villages, okay? Their main unit is uh, horsemen, therefore they need a lot of horses to make that happen. And also, another thing that sells pretty good is uh, salt. So they do have a couple of salt villages as well. You have one over here. Uh, I know there's one down here as well, over here as well. That's not completely in the Kazate area. You got another one over here, but pretty much on the right side of the map, there are a lot of salt producing villages. So two main um, things that you can buy on the right side of the map is horses, whether it's, um, you know, uh, sumter horses, mules, or even like, you know, more expensive horses and salt. And you can uh, transport it all the way to the left side of the map, which again, if we start looking over here, they don't produce any salt. There's no salt producing villages. There might be one, maybe like kind of like on this like middle part. But as you can see right here, there's no salt producing villages. And there's also not that many horse producing villages. And if we go to like the Batanian region, there's barely any horse producing villages. There's some more up here. But in the regions that we're looking, like right over here, all of this region right over here, you can see there is no horse producing villages. There's one down here. But in this general area, you will produce a profit because guess what? There are no villages nearby producing horses. So they are in demand. And also, same thing with salt. You don't see any salt producing villages. So when you get over here and you bring a lot of salt over, a lot of these towns, they will buy it for a high price. Now, another thing you have to make sure is the game, like I said, you know, with uh, what's it called? Supply and demand. Sometimes, even though, um, let's say, for example, this place right over here, while there's no salt being produced around, if, for example, a lot of caravans passed through and sold them salt recently and no one has bought it, you might have come at an unfortunate time where they have a lot of it in them. I mean, they have a lot of it in supply. So you might have to wait a little bit, go to a different town. This oh, this isn't always a 100% method, okay? It, it's, it, the, the world is ever changing and, you know, 
caravans move stuff, lords move stuff, villagers move stuff from place place A to place B to B to C to C to D. So it's ever changing. But if you stick to the method of, hey, there's not that many villages producing this certain thing around this area, but there is in this area. Well, then as a rule of thumb, you can take that, hey, I can take all of this supply from this area and bring it over here and sell it for hire. Very simple. OK, so now let's quickly run through it. So from the um, from the what's called the right side, the Kazate side to the um, I'm going to say to the Batanian and Vlandian side, horses sell well and salt sells well. OK, now, if you go from the top right over here where the Sturgeons are at, they have a lot of livestock, but livestock is kind of throughout the map. So it's not that great. But one thing they do have is fur. Fur and leather you can get for cheaper over here. They have a lot of uh, what's it called? Fur production, as you can see right over here for this village. And obviously leather comes from, um, you know, uh, what's it called? From different areas as well. So I, I think some leather gets produced here. You'll see it in towns. Um, and that get, can sell for quite a good penny. I think it's almost double the cost right over here at the Azerai because they do not have any fur production. There's barely any villages. I'm pretty sure there's actually no villages that produce fur uh, for the Azerai. So again, you can double up your profit if you buy a lot of fur and leather. Now, uh, in terms in terms of the, um, if you were to go from the Azerai side to the um, Sturgeon side, well, what they have a lot of is they have horses as well. So, um, you know, you, what you can really do is Horses from the Kazate side and horse from the Azrai side, you could bring to um, the north and you could bring to, the, I guess, the, what's called, to the west. So from the east and from the south, you can get horses and bring them to the north and the west. Very simple concept because there's a lot of horse produ production going on around here. Not a lot going around here. And everybody needs horses. Um, and also, what's called? There is date production. Uh, where is it? And this is the date production. Or is this the date production? Where is the date production? There it is. This is the. Um, this is what it looks like. So dates. Uh, if you get them at what's called the Azerai, the the southern part of the map, they have a couple of villages that produce dates. And obviously, if you go into the towns, they're going to be pretty cheap. They do sell pretty well um, in the north. They sell for about twice the amount in the north. And uh, what else? What else? What else? And in terms of uh, from this side, the left side or the we western side to uh, what's it called? The eastern side. I'm going to keep it real with you. They have more food produce production uh, in terms of uh, what's it called grapes, olives, and also they have flax, but it doesn't sell that well. I'll keep it real with you. It doesn't sell that well. So my, my go-tos, if you were to just start off right now, horses, it's a huge market. You know what I mean? Horses are huge markets. Um, like I said, from the eastern and su uh, southern side to the northern and western side, I would go for that. Salt actually sells very, very well um, from the Kazate side to um, the Vlandian and Batanian side. You can get even sometimes triple your profits for salt production. I mean, for salt trading. And um, what's it called? And the leather and fur from the top, uh, the northern side where the Sturgeons are, to the bottom where uh, the Azrai are, you can make actually a very, very good profit because uh, fur and leather both are very high value uh, trading items. And um, the profit margin is quite huge. Now, now that we got um, pretty much the long scale in terms of uh, trading, Let's talk about kind of from region to region. If you don't want to go too far, if you don't have enough maybe army or if you don't have enough that, you're just starting out. You can't buy too much stuff right now, but you want to go region to region. You want to go from like over here to over here. Well, here's how you do it, right? This one is a little bit more min-max. There isn't exactly, um, you know what I mean, like uh, presets like pretty much the horses being going from here to here. It's more of you go into a town, okay? This, this works at any town, okay? So go into the town, you go to the tavern, then you visit the tavern. Now, when you visit the tavern, um, you can talk to the townspeople in the tavern 
and they will give you trade secrets. They're going to tell you what is cheap in this town and what will sell high in another town. So if you talk to enough townspeople, usually there's about two to three townspeople that will give you two or three different commodities that trade pretty well, okay? So let's go talk to them and see what we find. So, and sometimes they're just gonna have random stuff that's, that they just wanna talk about, okay? So just go to each one. There you go, here's the first one. My uncle says he took some uh, a foray of oil to, uh, I think it's Chalkland, 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 and made 69 in profit, okay? So oil sells pretty good. Uh, if we buy oil here and we bring it over there, it's gonna give us a profit. There it is. Peace. Okay, that is not a townsperson. All right, he has nothing to tell us. Next person, nothing to tell us. I think we already talked to her. Another townsperson. There it is, another person. So I heard my cousin, he took some barrels of cheese and made four profits. Not that much, the oil is a little bit better, but it's still profit. And by the way, this is how you build up your trade by actually, um, you know what I mean? Like doing these trades. So you start off short range, you build up your trade skill, and then um, you'll make even more profit doing the long, like pretty much the long scale trading. All right, and boom, uh, what's it called? The word is fish sells well in Ortengard for a load. So every uh, fish will give you about four uh, in profits. Not that great, again, you have to um, you have to kind of look around. Sometimes they're not going to give you the best trades. Sometimes they'll give you extremely good trades. Like the oil trade was not actually that bad. So for example, let's do the oil trade since they said the oil is sells pretty well. Okay. So let's go and find it. Here we go. We got oil. It's selling. Okay. So how much are we getting this for? We buy all of it for two, three, four, one. Let me just put this down. And we got to go to, they said what? Down here, right? It's not even that far. It's literally the next town, okay? Let's go to the next town and let's see how much profit we make from this trade. There we go. Now let's take this oil. Holy... And there you go. So uh, we bought it for we bought it for two thousand three hundred forty one, and we sold it for three thousand three hundred eighty one. How much profit is that? Let me get my calculator out. So we got three thousand eighty one minus two thousand forty one. We made a thousand gold in profit right there, going from region to region. Very simple, very easy. Um, and again, and now what you can do is go back into the tavern. Uh, visit the tavern and do the same exact thing All right We got seven so some wool and bring some Akib for seven not that great. Let's see if we can find another uh, That's also not that great fur sells well Not that well So what you want to look for is like the one that we just found you know what I mean that gives us a lot in return and If you don't find it just go to the next town. It's not that big of a deal. You're not always going to find a, a great score, but sometimes you will. We were lucky to find it right away. Alright. We'll see if we have any luck with these guys. If we have no luck, again, not that big of a deal. Could always try the next uh, town. Peace to you, stranger. Alright, relax. And it looks like we're going to have no luck in this one. Again, it happens. But that's pretty much how you do it. Um, you know, long term, I mean, long scale. You got your little uh, methods and routes. And um, pretty much region to region or even town to town, as you can see right here. There is profit to be made if you talk to the people. They know what they're talking about. And you can make some good profit. That's going to do it for me. And I'll see you in the next one.